So we're looking at and talking about intensive wheat management and, and basically what we're trying to do here is figure out um, through inputs how we can in, increase our yield um, of, of this particular crop. And last year we looked at oh, adding you know, several different fertilizer treatments, basically spoon feeding this crop throughout the growing season, as well as adding um, some other ingredients such as sugars. Um, we've added some biological uh, root treatments and as well as some, some foliar treatments. So basically applying a lot of inputs to this crop to increase the yield. And what we saw last year is that we could actually increase our yields by about 26% above what we typically or normally would do um, for, for a decent crop. So that gives us some, some um, room to, to try and figure out what, what are some of the additional inputs that we can apply uh, to, to really increase our yields. Um, last year when we looked at, at this process, we basically put all of the inputs into one, into one plot so that we, we couldn't decipher the differences or, or what types of things were, were enhancing our yields. This year we've separated all these out and, and added them also together so that we can try and you know, distinguish what processes, what inputs are contributing uh, to, to yield. Uh, is sugar contributing 2% or is it contributing 10%? And, and we hope to be able to, to figure that out this year. Along with that, we, some of the biological inputs uh, we know will enhance some of the, the fertilizer uptake as well as, as uh, protect the plant during drought conditions, which we're going through right now. Mm -hmm.